now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Suniga. Do not let this beautiful viewer photo fool you that we are out of the woods as far as some active weather. I thought I would show this, the sunrise from this morning. What a gorgeous and beautiful start to our April. April, we do have some other gorgeous and beautiful weather that's headed our way. As far as I'm concerned, there's no such thing as bad weather. So enjoy this sun, enjoy this warmth because we have a winter storm watch that starts for the cascades on Sunday morning and goes until Tuesday morning and during that time we will not be able to see this beautifully clear shot off the Mount Bachelor camera. It is going to feel a bit more like winter once we get to the later part of Sunday and into Monday. Here's what we're seeing on that satellite and radar image. For us right now we are staying mostly clear. You do see a few showers in the valley and remember we were looking at yesterday there is a chance for some showers tonight along the Cascades. That's still in place. For us, we are going to stay dry right now until we get into the Sunday nighttime. I'll show you on the future track. Here's a look at those much warmer temperatures across the state that we've been watching. The mid 50s in Baker City, low 60s through Central Oregon, and then those mid upper 40s in some areas to low 50s along the coast. Everything has been calm today. We've made it into this ridge. We start to see it pass through. We have a very broad trough, so not going to see really much as we go through this Saturday into Sunday. We start to see this dip just a bit more, and it's from this Sunday into Monday day that we're going to see the most activity here on your future track. This is the chance I was just mentioning that we see a few showers that actually comes down into part of the region. So there's a few of us in those lower elevations that could see some showers by 11 o'clock tonight. That passes on some east slope activity and everything stays fairly dry with just a few clouds. We clear up a bit on Saturday, another day. Don't let that fool you because what you are about to see once we get to Sunday night at 8 o'clock, we fully see blue along the Cascades and East Slopes. That starts to creep into our higher elevations. You can see around 1 a.m. And from this point on, nothing ever stops along the Cascades. You see rain all the way through Central Oregon, some breaks by Monday around 1 o'clock. Things continue on the Cascades. Now we're starting to see some snow. You can see some of that around the region, mostly and almost always completely staying on the Cascades. Accumulation wise, we are not expecting too much within the areas you see here, but along the Cascades in total from Sunday all the way through till Tuesday, there's a possibility of anywhere from 11 inches to 21 inches in total. Fantastic. Here's a look at your current temperatures. You can see that we're on the warm side overnight tonight. We do a nice little drop with our temperatures, but we do stay on the warm side again with those ranging in the upper 20s to low 30s. Tomorrow we stay very similar to today, maybe a few degrees cooler. We carry those temperatures into Sunday. Then that cold front comes on Monday. You see that chance for snow, but that's not what I'm paying attention to after that. Take a look at Thursday. Thursday. Temperatures could end the week next week in the low 70s.